Welcome, welcome, Scorpio. We're going to get into your tarot card reading in just a minute. But first, hit subscribe, do all the things, click that bell. My name is Jordan. I am Hangman Tarot, and I'm going to be giving you your reading on January 2023, finding out all predictions love wise. So, a general will also be available. So, make sure you check out Hangman Tarot on YouTube to go check that out yourself. Um, other than that, we're going to get into this reading. I'm going to start with an oracle card energy, kind of get the surface of where you are um, and get into a current um, situation all the way into the past, just anything leading all the way into the upcoming month of January 2023. I know it's that time of month, that time of year. All right, Scorpio, what do we got for Scorpio? The universe needs Scorpio to know what we need to know about Scorpio. Okay. All right, so there is a situation where you're trying to let go of something, um, surrendering something, maybe even just trying to let go of the ego and allow your heart to kind of lead you in this space. I do feel like anything kind of influencing this situation is the fact that you're trying or you are in the midst of actually forgiving yourself for something. So something has happened, maybe something, you know, long overdue that should have been, you know, taken care of a while ago. I feel like you're definitely in a place or a space in which you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go of all attachment to material, all attachment to, you know, the ego, to the exterior, to the outer situation. And I'm going to just fucking forgive myself. Okay. Does it sound familiar? If so, stay, stay a while and we'll get into this tarot reading. Let me get a couple more shuffles here. We're going to find out a little bit more about that situation. It's, it's not starting off in a bad space. That's, that's for sure. Okay. Whoa. My mic almost. Oh, the microphone almost went to went overboard. Okay. Here we go. We're going to find out all that we need to know about your situation. Okay. So there is a new beginning or a repeat cycle um, as far as your love situation is currently. I do feel like there is a lack of strength here or a lack of willpower to just do or follow through with whatever it is that you were trying to follow through with. And you were like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to allow the ego to go out the fucking door and I'm going to take care of this space. And in order to get into a new beginning or recycle a relationship or, you know, start fresh and, you know, vamp things up a little bit, you're going to have to forgive yourself, especially if this is going to be a new chapter for the both of you. Death in reverse is just indicating that you're currently in that space right now. And yes, it does feel like you're not strong at the moment, but this is only because not because you lack courage. It's just, it's a scary moment. It's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a hard thing. It's like looking over a cliff, not knowing if you're going to fall or not, because quite frankly, how the fuck do we know if we forgive ourselves? How the fuck do we know if we restart a relationship? We don't, we fucking don't bottom font really all the way over there. Come on now. Okay. I'll just keep it over there. <laughs> it's way over there. <laughs> I don't want to get up and get it. Okay. So basically <laughs> from afar. Uh, so yeah, there is some overanalyzing. You're kind of procrastinating a little bit. Scoot it up. Come on, get it done. Go take care of the situation so you can move on with your fucking life. Honestly, there's a lot of things to kind of analyze and look over. And yes, you are you are trying to do all of these things right now currently. But there is so many things to examine. There's so many things to assess in this situation or this relationship. This person could be a Leo, a fire sign, or a water sign. But again, this is going to take you to a new beginning. So do you want to be trapped behind the old beginning? I mean, it's up to you. Okay? So you don't want to be trapped. Keep moving ahead. Keep moving ahead. It's scary. It's scary. Hang on to your nuts, okay? Because it's going to get scarier. Who fucking cares, though? Just do it. I'm terrified right now. I promise you. I'm terrified as fuck right now living in my existence. In anybody or around anybody's existence. I'm terrified all the time to be a human. So just, you know, what's, 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 what's more or less? Let's just put it out there. Let's just take care of the situation. Take care of the business. Do the things. Strength, courage. You have this, okay? Let's find out what's going on in the past that kind of put you in this place where you're recycling your relationship. Why are you Why are you trying to renew it? Why are you trying to forgive yourself to get into a better space in your relationship? What is it that happened in the past? 
Um, I do see a situation here with Nine of Cups. Very content place, very loving situation. The connection has a lot of feeling, a lot of flow. I do feel like there is a conflict and this has a lot to do with somebody kind of walking away from a situation or not looking at a situation. So whatever this is, there was no real communication around whatever happened or was going on. I feel like this relationship has pure intention and it is led with the heart and you do want to find contentment and, you know, full contentment, not just like an almost kind of there, but I do feel like there's definitely some sort of, hmm, maybe some solitude even, or just kind of like, yeah, just like a solitude or like, you know, kind of going at this independently, to, but together it's weird because at first it's like no big deal or whatever in the past. And then it gets into this place where it becomes a conflict and starts really fucking things up. So it's really changing things up and there's never really been an actual conversation about it. I feel like things are just passed over because this is very neglected. Yeah. So with the page of cups in reverse, this is super neglected. And this is only because the emotional level of this situation is a little bit higher than maybe yours or theirs. Okay. Or whatever. Or it's just being passed by. That's all I'm seeing. I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing that. Okay. And upcoming, you def, you definitely are going to be dealing with this. You're going to be talking about this with whoever this person that you're dealing. I'm sorry. I have a hair in my eyelash. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know if I got it. It's so annoying though. Okay. So moving forward, I feel like the mental process here is going to, be talking. You're going to be very inspired by the time you hit January to have a conversation. You're going to talk. Okay. You're going to have the conversation that maybe you should have had a while ago about this situation, but in upcoming January, there will be some sort of a celebration, something that will maybe feel a little more secure that you're able to kind of have this talk. And you might kind of save the day on something here, even within whatever the situation is. I feel like this could be a wedding, a ceremony, a long-term commitment situation, maybe a shindig that you go to, or maybe you just have a barbecue at your house. It's gonna happen at one of these events with your person in January. And at first you're gonna have to kind of save the day on something, and then all of a sudden you're gonna be able to have a conversation. And this is tower energy. This is definitely something that is going to change the perspective of the relationship, but it's gonna change the way that you actually see your person and how your person might feel or see you, which is a good thing, especially if you're starting a new beginning and everything currently, fuck it. You might as well just throw in some tower energy. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> that sounds amazing. All right. Please go ahead. Hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot if you would, please. And thank you. Go ahead. Hit that bell. When you do, you're, you will not miss one of your notifications here at Hangman Tarot. Other than that, I am going to get out of here. Please go ahead and share, like, and follow on your social media and check out mine in the deets below. I will see you very soon. See you, Scorpio.